Welcome, I'm your host, Welcome23, and you're joining me for All the Wrong Reasons, Chapter 20. You quickly spin around and nearly collapse with relief. Staring back at you is a pair of crystal blue eyes. I can't believe Justin Adams is standing next to you in this garden. He looks as handsome as ever in a black tux. His hair is a little disabled, but it only adds to his charm. He looks like he hasn't been sleeping. Justin doesn't speak. As a matter of fact, he looks as dumbfounded as you are. He pulls you close for a searing kiss. You pour all of your love into the act. Oh, honey. Justin, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I thought you were in New York. Something crazy happened to me. I found out my mom isn't really my mom. I found my real mom, and she lives here in Paris all, all this time, and and was looking for me. Oh my god, I, I'm rambling. I, I don't have much time before the Neanderthal gets her. Anyway, I've been in Paris for nearly a month now. Honey, are you okay? Adrian, what is your mother's... your mo real mother's name? Um, Ariana Blanc Stark? Why? Justin steps back and just looks at you with a dazed expression. Then he starts laughing and crying at the same time. So check this out. Something tells me that destiny and fate are intertwined with these two. Justin, what's wrong? You're scaring me. Talk to me. I think I've been giving the miracle that I've been asking for. Get rid of the Justin before the Neanderthal sees him. I know that we have a lot to talk about, but I need you to go. My escort will be here any minute to take me to the party. And you probably shouldn't meet him. Why not? Because I don't want you to go to jail for assault. This guy is the biggest douchebag. That bad, huh? Damn, he's good. What? Did your mother tell you that you're arranged to be married to this guy? Yeah, I mean... We're gonna call it off, but how did you know? And what if your fiancé doesn't allow her to call off the engagement? He doesn't have a choice, and besides, he hates me as much as I hate him. He doesn't hate you, honey. In fact, he is head over heels in love with you. He wants to marry you right now. What? We need to get out of here, then. No, honey, we don't. Why? Because he's already here. I'm so confused right now. So... <laughs> Justin was sending that other guy in his place this whole time. <laughs> you smooth bastard, you. Oh, Hell. I. <laughs> okay. Ooh. That guy. The guy you met, he's not your real fiance, Adrian. I am. You. How in the. Your mother is. Christine Adams. But I met Christine's son. He was the most despicable creature to walk this earth. Because I paid him to act that way. I didn't want to get through this with this engagement, but there's no way in hell I would marry the girl my parents chose for me. My father asked me to try. He said that if she didn't like me, he'd set me free. So I asked somebody to pose as me. What if he had hurt me? He'd never do that. He is my cousin, Jordan. What if someone had found out that he was an imposter? I was counting on it. If your parents knew, then I'd be cast as a villain, and nobody would want their daughter to marry someone like that. I am so mad at you. He's able to cannot bear your anger anymore before you realize that your hand is cracking against his cheek. I want to kill you. Do you know what you've put me through? Do you know what I've had to go through with this guy? Dustin rubs his cheek and gives you an apologetic smile. I just want us to be together. Justin, he was so horrible. Can you kill me later? Right now? I just want to kiss you again. <sighs> okay, fine. 
God, I missed you. I missed you too. I may have been praying for a miracle, or that at least you were happy. Well, your prayers were answered. God must like you the most. Do you know what is killing me right now? What? The realization that we've been engaged for our entire lives. If my dad hadn't kidnapped me, we wouldn't have had to suffer all of this pain. Just don't smooth a stray hair away from your face. I now know that you're Andrea Blanc. And, but, you'll always be my Adrian. And I couldn't be happier about this turn of events. I don't even know who I am. My, my birth certificate says Andrea Blanc. My passport says Andrea Miller. I, I'm not even sure which one fits. Let's do something about that, shall we? He takes his hands, and, and your hands and his, and lowers to one knee. You gasp and hold your breath and have to grab a rail to support your balance because your knees have gone weak. There are a million things I wanted to tell you. A hundred lines I thought I would never... I would... I would say whenever I imagine this moment, and I finally proposed to you for real. But right now, all I have to say is that I love you, Adrian. I love you very, very much. I said this to you before, and I'm going to say it again. You're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I never want to let you go, no matter how many times you set me free. I am saying these to you not because of our family arranged for this, but... Because this is what I want. I love you so much, and I'm willing to give up everything for you. I live for you. I'm willing to die for you. You are my life, now and for always. Will you become Adrian Adams? Will you be my wife? Oh, come on! Can I think about it? I guess I need some reminding how I feel about you. Adrian. Ah. <sighs> I've been falling in love with you since the first time we spoke, and I'm still falling. He's kneeling in front of you with a giant rock of an engagement ring with a bleeding look on his face. You nearly giggle through the tears. I'm kidding. Go let me back for your prank. I'll marry you. I love you. Oh, thank God. He stands, slips the ring on your fingers, and pulls you to him. I love you so much. Thank you. The weight of the past month slips off you as you joyously kiss your fiancé. You want this happy moment to never end. This ring is beautiful. And so are you. It is my mother. She gave it to me before I came up here. She was really hoping that you and Justin J were hitting it off. Oh, I came close to hitting him alright with a t titanium bat. And I believe that. Jordan actually tells me you were quite feisty, knowing now that it was you. I'm so proud. Oh, his business card? It said Justin J. What does the J stand for? My middle name. Jeffrey. When my twin died a few days after he was born, my mother gave me his name so he would always live on in our memories. Why didn't you put your surname on the business card then? Are you kidding me? If that card leaks out with my full name, I've just committed social suicide. That card was a surefire way to turn a girl off. That was Ian's idea. But, uh, to her, J actually stands for Jerk. She's not very fond of Jordan. Jerk is right. I can't believe your cousin's helping you out in this debacle. We were desperate. Yeah, they lost me at Machito. <laughs> What? Let me explain. When Jordan and I met for coffee, he asked for a machito instead of a macchiato. I thought he was such a moron. Wow, he is a good actor. There's absolutely no way he could have he could mistake that. His family owns a huge coffee shop chain in the States. I cannot believe you guys. Your cousins are going to be the death of me. I love you so much. Your cousins may mean not as much. Ian and Jean liked you a lot, Adrian, so they went out of their way to make Adrian Blanc pay. Okay, well, now maybe a little bit more. If only you'd sent Jean, our problem would have been solved much earlier. If you answered my calls, or actually returned my messages, and told me the whole thing about your real identity, we could have ended this before you even met Jordan. 
that is a fair point, but... <sighs> I was a mess during that time, and the whole thing about my family, it was just overwhelming. Why didn't you call me after that? Because it was my part of the arrangement with Dad, I couldn't contact you. I was supposed to be focusing all my attention on making my fiancé fall in love with me. I didn't want to break that promise because I didn't want him to find out exactly what I was really doing. Well, until I accomplished my mission. Congratulations, mission accomplished. What did you plan to do at this party now that you're showing up as yourself and not without the aid of Mischief Jordan? Something that would have made Andrea Blanc wish she was engaged to the fake Justin instead. At least he was a little bit funny. Really? You'd leave the gentleman cloak behind and stoop so low just to make her hate you? That's for times called for desperate measures, honey. I'd rather live in shame than in the misery for the rest of my life. Jill told me she saw you in blush. You were looking rather chirpy. You didn't look miserable at all. I was over the moon. I had Jordan feeding me information on how my fake fiancé never wanted to see me again. The plan was working. I couldn't wait for it to be over so I could be with you. There are so many times that this could have been over so much sooner. He could have sent me a picture of you. Or me. I wasn't interested in a picture. I mean, I didn't need to know what she looked like. She wasn't you. I can't believe our parents did this to us. It was hell for me, Adrian. I can't believe actually recall being sober for most of it. Adrian? Yes, my love. We are never going to arrange our children's marriages. We'll let them find their own happiness. I totally agree. Our parents are going to be happy about this, aren't they? Ecstatic. Our mothers think that this was the right to meddle in our lives, and my father will be gloating about how they could arrange the wedding of the century by tomorrow. Adrian, do you trust me? Of course I do. Why? What are you doing? Come with me. Okay, what do I do? Follow him towards the exit. Justin grabs your hand and starts pulling you towards the exits. <clears throat> Where are we going? Do you remember my last text message to you? Uh, of course I do. I read it every night. Well, we still have two weeks. And we're gonna go get married, Miss Miller. Yes. See? And you didn't need to pay for diamonds. See how it's the illusion of choice? Yeah. Two hours later, you find yourself at the airport with Justin. You're not thinking of consequences or your family. All you care about is that you are finally together. Jin, who texted you earlier to bring you a few things, meets you at the airport and hands you a bag. He looks concerned. I hope you know what you're doing, Adrian. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know that for the first time in my life, I'm doing what I want instead of what I have to. And he's... what you want? Yes, he is, Jin. Did you know that Mom arranged a marriage for me? If I knew, don't you think I would have done something about it? I'm absolutely against arranged marriages. Adrian, I knew she was playing matchmaker, but that was all. She told me at the party. She told me, too. She was so worried she didn't know how to tell Christine that you didn't want to go through with it. But then you didn't show up at the party. She texted me that you'd run away. She feels so guilty that she scared you off. Jen, is she okay? She's fine. Let's make her think about what she's done for a while. She can't meddle in our lives like this. Do they know? That the guy that set you up with was already your boyfriend? No, only me because your boyfriend showed up at the party. I immediately recognized him. But I won't tell Adrian. Let's enjoy this little revenge for a while. Thank you. Your passports, wallets, and IDs are in the pocket. I just grabbed whatever I could. Where are you going anyway? I have no idea. I don't even care. Right now, I just want to be with him. I told Mom that I think you ran away and that I'm going to come after you. What do you think I should tell her? <laughs> mm, tell her not to worry. Jin, please don't let her think that she's going to lose me again. Tell her that I love her and not to worry. I won't be gone forever. I just need some time away. Oh, don't tell her about Justin. <laughs> Got him. I just want you to be happy. I hate that I'm losing you when I just found you, Adrian. You will never lose me. You're my brother and I love you. 
Yeah, but I have a feeling that when I see you again, you're going to be Adrian Adams. Impressive ring, by the way. Congrats. You laugh and give him a hug. Justin comes back from the ticketing counter and extends his hand to Jen. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm the guy who beat the crap out of you if you hurt my sister. Jen? <laughs> it's okay, honey. I will take care of her. You don't have to worry. She's going to be safe, cherished, and loved. Good. Keep in touch, okay, Adrian? I promise. I love you. you. Give Jen a farewell hug and watch him walk away. You're so grateful to have him as your brother. You know, it's hard to believe that that guy is going to be my brother-in-law. I remember wanting to punch his teeth down his throat because I thought he was interested in you. Well, he was, but not for the reasons you thought. He was suspecting I was his long-lost sister. Thank God you were. I'm surprised you didn't recognize him. He probably hates going to little family reunions as much as I do, so we never met each other. And, well, but I've always known the girl I was supposed to marry belonged to his family. Once, when I thought he was going after you, I feared an unimaginable fate for myself. You becoming my sister-in-law? Oh my god, that would be really messed up. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want to kill myself every single day if that happened. Then let's be thankful and... It wasn't e even possible. Where are we going, anyway? Remember he said Italy? Yes! We're eloping to Italy. Are you sure about this, honey? Because once you board that plane, there will be no turning back for you. I want to press yes! Can I press yes? Then can we continue? <laughs> so, if y'all did enjoy the video, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below what you think you'll, will happen in chapter 21. And um, with that being said, head down to the description below. We do have a Discord server, a few social media links, and as well as a few links to support me and my content. It's right, greatly appreciated if you can. Otherwise, hit that like and share button. Until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and thanks for watching. Peace.